Welcome back to Otaku Alley. We're going to be talking about Trinity 7 today. It is a harem, harem, comedy, supernatural, magic, romance, etchy, fantasy, school, shonen anime. It is pretty good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. It is about magic and a magic academy. Arata. It starts off with Arata in a, what they call a breakdown phenomenon. He is talking to one of his school friends. And they're kind of like having this dialogue back and forth. And he's kind of confused of what's going on. And then Lilith shows up. And she starts to explain some of the scenario. While, like, kind of almost kicking, trying to, it looks like they're going to kick off a battle here. And she's like, so, you're the one that created this breakdown phenomenon, and that's not your high school friend. That is a grimoire, and I need you to turn it over, or I'm going to kill you and take it from you. And he's like, wait, 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 you're not taking this from me. <laughs> and, you know, it's just, it goes into this whole bickering back and forth thing, and of course, her being a battle maid, she's like, okay, I'm just going to kill you. He comes up with a new, like, a counter-offer. And his counter-offer is, well, if only mages can have grimoires, then I'll just become a mage. So then it cuts to the school. And he's joining the class. And that's where it starts off really strong with the etchy. He comes in, makes a really pervy joke, and it just rolls from there. He is a horum main character that is not afraid to say what he's thinking he's he's like absolutely like he's just not scared of these girls and it is absolutely hilarious i loved it i absolutely love that so the main point is there's breakdown phenomenons and there are grimoires the grimoires are characters also which i thought was pretty cool now there is about seven, eight, eight-ish girls in this, so I won't be able to cover all of them. I'll probably only cover like one or two. So there is the breakdown phenomenons, there's evil mages, and there is the grimoires. Those are kind of the thing. And so far is the world and talking about the world, there's not a lot to talk about. It's basically based around breakdown phenomenons and him trying to find his high school friend. And there is grimoires and other characters that are acting like they're using his high school friend's uh, like body to try to trick him throughout this. Arata finds out early on that he is what they call a demon lord candidate. So here we go. Another overpowered character, but, you know, we're kind of used to this by now. It it kind of comes, whenever you see harem and comedy and etchy all mashed together, it, the MC is going to be overpowered. And there's going to be a flock of girls that are following him. I mean, that's just harm. So, their mage abilities, they have different names and different Arcadias they follow. So, whatever the girl's personality type, it does the opposite of it. For instance, Lilith is a very shy and hush by the book character. And her, her, her magic is follows the book of lust. So, they make a joke to where whenever they find out that she is a massive perv. Like I said, she's a very shut away character. She's by the book. She's actually a teacher at the school. And I, I really don't understand that. But hey, do what you do, anime. You never cease to amaze me. And then we have Sora, which is Arata's grimoire. And she is more of... She's the perv antagonist along with Arata. But she, she really... I don't know. A lot of the etchy comes from her. And she's really funny. She's a powerful character. Well, she's a grimoire, of course. But what grimoires do 
is they boost the mage's abilities. They make them stronger. And so you have Arata, who is the Demon Lord care candidate, and he is, like I said, he's your typical MC. He's really not much to say here. There's not a whole lot to say about this anime in general. It's a good animation. The animation is fine. The sound is fine. The, the opening and ending songs are really great. They're some of the best I've ever heard. So I will leave you on these final thoughts and information. There is seven girls. They are a part of the Trinity Seven. Their magic Arcadias are the seven deadly sins. Again, we're following the seven deadly sins again. Each girl is one of the deadly sins. There is this is really a best girl anime. That, in my opinion, that's what I think. There is not much going on in this. It's, it needs to be fleshed out more, and I feel like it needs a second season or even a third season. They need to talk more about what's actually going on here than the, than just, oh, well, there there is a breakdown, and let's throw some pervy, etchy stuff here and some comedy in right here, and let's move on. I mean, it's a good horror anime. It's not an infinite stratios. It's a really good animation. Just needs more world overarching story than just focusing on this one thing, which is the breakdown phenomenon. And they need to really fresh flesh out the Demon Lord candidate. I just don't think 12 episodes was enough to wrap this animation up nicely. It needs more. And I don't understand where more is because this anime came out, what, six years ago? There should have been a season two by now. There's not. So we'll sit back and wait for it. And I'll review it whenever it does come. Because it's got to come someday, right? No. Who are we Who are we kidding? There probably won't be. There are movies and OVAs to this. I have not watched them. Which the movies and the OVAs probably do tie the story up quite nicely. But this has been Otaku Alley. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next anime. Hopefully it'll be one that has some actual story content next time.